Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your John boat only using about $7 worth of supplies that you can find at Walmart, Dollar General, or any other convenience store. The best part is, most supplies you won't even have to buy because you already have it within your household. Hope you enjoy. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove everything out of the boat, all of the electronics, trolling motor, anything that we can easily take out, we're going to go ahead and take out, and then we're going to remove these boards in the next step. Now with all that done, the next thing we're going to do is take a few of these boards out. I'm not going to take the whole front deck off because that's going to be a pain to take out, put back in. So just the boards on the bottom I think are what I'm going to take out and I'm just going to clean as much as I can. Since this does have this angle right here pushing everything back anyway, especially when we're going underway, I think we're going to find most of the debris and trapped in this back compartment rather than this first one. Now I finally got all the panels out, that took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I also went ahead and I took this front panel out, because I saw that it was only a few screws and I thought might as well go ahead, do it right, get it clean. Now I'm going to show you the inside of the boat now, as dirty as it is, and then we'll start cleaning it after I do that. Now that I have this plates off, you can just see how dirty it is, all this dirt, mud, and a little bit of rust in some spots from stuff sitting on the aluminum and I'm going to absolutely clean all this out. The first thing I'm going to do is probably just give it a really strong rinse on the inside as well as jack it up so it can drain as much as possible out the back. And after that, I'll use my $7 worth of supplies to clean the rest of it up and I'll show you all what I'm doing as far as that goes. Now while the boat's draining, it's a very simple formula, but basically all white vinegar is is acetic acid, and it's actually a pretty good cleaner overall. So we're gonna mix this about 50-50, just to make sure I have it diluted enough to where it won't hurt anything. I doubt it will anyway. Uh, if a little bit spills out onto the boat while you're putting it in, that's gonna be completely fine, no worries there. But uh, like I said, just filling this about halfway, and then we're gonna add water. Now, as you can see, I have about a one-to-one -one mix ratio. It doesn't have to be completely accurate, but I bought this water bottle for like $2.50 from uh, Dollar General. Now, you probably have a Windex bottle laying around. That's going to be completely fine for the acetic acid. I'd be very surprised if it were able to eat through this plastic. I really don't think it will. But now we're going to fill the rest of this up with water. All right, now we have it all in this bowl, so we're going to homogenize it by shaking it up a little bit just to make sure we have a pretty good mixture. Overall, this should be able to mix itself pretty well as soon as you put the water in. Uh, once homogenized pretty easily. So now we've shaken it up, we are good to go. The other thing you're going to need is just some steel wool. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something to help give it a little bit more brush to it, especially on these grimy, grimy spots on the outside of the scope where the hard water is. But I got these for like, again, $2.50, something like that. I mean, not a bad price at all. I think this is a great representation of how effective this acetic acid is mixed with water. Here's a side that I just did, and here's a side that I just sprayed with water. And although you can wipe it off your hands, there's still actually mud in these little crevices that it's hard to get to. So we're just going to put a little spray here again, take our steel wool, and just lightly scrub this area. And it's just disappearing. All these water lines, this hard water, dirt, gunk on the side, absolutely just vanishing. As well as these small scratches right here, I'm actually able to get with the steel wool as well, so that's a big plus. Go ahead and knock those out while I'm cleaning the boat. Now we're just going to give it a good rinse real quick. And it's basically all gone. So 
I'm just going to continue to do this along the entire side of the boat. I may look at the bottom, not too sure yet, and then I'll do the inside of the boat the same exact way. So this side of the boat is looking 10 times better from when I started. And just to give you a comparison, I'm going to show you the back of the boat, which I still need to do. Hopefully the lighting will allow me to adjust. You can see there's still barnacles and a bad water line on the transom. As well as on this side, still very, very dirty, very nasty. But I'm going to have to get all of that tomorrow since we're about to have a thunderstorm come in and I really do need to help my brother move out of his dorm for the semester. But I think you got the main point here. Using acetic acid with water is a very cheap alternative to say using boat soap and it works better in my case, especially with this aluminum. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, subscribe and thanks for watching.